there you have a very nice photograph and it appears to be a rather sweet shot of a newlywed couple sprawled out on a rooftop lawn in Hong Kong. Well, travel filmmaker Brandon Lee snapped just under a week ago while he was uh, testing his drone camera, but uh, didn't notice the couple until later on. So, just who are they? Have they really just gotten married? Well, to find out all this information as it appears, we're joined now from Hong Kong by travel filmmaker Brandon Lee. Hey, Brandon, good morning to you. Glad you could join us on Newsday. <laughs> A great shot that you have there. Were you able to find out uh, uh, some information about this couple? Was it just uh, uh, two models uh, on a shoot for a uh, wedding campaign? Or were they really getting married? Or just gotten married? Honestly, I, I still have no idea <laughs> on the picture. You know, I originally posted the picture just as my Facebook cover photo. It's just a you know, still frame from the video that I was shooting. And I thought it would be kind of cool to put on Facebook like I do you know, every couple months updating my uh, cover. And it just kind of went viral on its own. And even though it's gotten shared, you know, around the internet quite a bit, I still honestly have no idea who they are. Uh, all I have are a bunch of theories from people. So they must be now and... the most popular couple in Hong Kong, but they have not identified yeah. themselves to you of who they are. <laughs> no, I've called, I've, I've identified the building. And I've called the, the management of the building, or I called the front desk at least. Uh, I sent them an email. Um, I honestly haven't had time to go down there myself and try to make a plea. Uh, I have wild fan theories, like maybe it's uh, a couple of mannequins. Uh, some people have analyzed the angles of their arms and deemed them impossible for humans to be quite so straight and board like i i'm not sure uh your guess is as good as mine at this point okay let's talk about the shot right now brandon how did you capture sure. this shot uh completely by accident mm -hmm. <laughs> i was actually intending mostly to shoot the sunset uh with the drone uh i was just pointing the drone out toward the horizon there's beautiful mountains uh that that rise up uh you know behind the buildings in the Wan Chai area of hong kong and you know right around 536 you get mm. incredible light so that's what I was trying to capture but as the drone's battery was going dead uh, I just pointed the camera of the drone straight down to capture you know whatever was happening uh, below on as the drone returned home automatically so and as the drone was weaving around right. it passed their building so Brandon tell us this wasn't uh, shot by accident this it, it wasn't staged because you know in the past <laughs> there have been no. criticisms of photos being photoshopped and retouched. Well, let me put it this way. If it was staged, I probably would have taken an actual photo instead of just a still shot from video. It would be much higher resolution and much sharper. Um, no, this was, this was just a lucky grab that happened, you know, amid an hour of other raw footage of the drone flying around. You know, the, the city just kind of has so many things going on that I think if you shoot enough, eventually you'll get lucky and you'll get something kind of cool by accident. All right. I mean, Hong Kong is like a concrete jungle, and having a drone is really an advantage, seeing what's really happening at the top. Uh, Brandon Lee, a travel filmmaker, great to have you with us, and congratulations on that photograph.